we now place ourselves in the loving presence of God. In the name of the Father, and the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Come, Holy Spirit, fill the hearts of your faithful and enkindle in them the fire of your divine love. Send forth your spirit, and they shall be created, and you shall renew the face of the earth. O God, who by the light of the Holy Spirit did instruct the hearts of the faithful, grant us by the same Holy Spirit to release what is right and just, and always to rejoice in his consolation through Christ our Lord. Amen. 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 A reading from the Holy Gospel according to Mark. Glory, Glory to you, o Lord. Lord. Herod was the one who had John arrested and bound in prison on account of Herodias, the wife of his brother Philip, whom he had married. John had said to Herod, It is not lawful for you to have your brother's wife. Herodias harbored a grudge against him and wanted to kill him, but was unable to do so. Herod feared John, knowing him to be a righteous and holy man, and kept him in custody. When he heard him speak, he was very much perplexed, yet he liked to listen to him. She had an opportunity one day when Herod, on his birthday, gave a banquet for his courtiers, his military officers, and the leading men of Galilee. Herodias' own daughter came in and performed a dance that delighted Herod and his guests. The king said to the girl, ask of me whatever you wish and I will grant it to you. He even swore many things to her. I will grant you whatever you ask of me, even to half of my kingdom. She went out and said to her mother, what shall I ask for? She replied, the head of John the Baptist. The girl hurried back to the king's presence and made her request. I want you to give me at once on a platter the head of John the Baptist. The king was deeply distressed because of his oaths, and he guessed he did not wish to break his word to her. So he promptly dispatched an executioner with orders to bring back his head. He went off and beheaded him in the prison. He brought in the head on a platter and gave it to the girl. The girl in turn gave it to her mother. When his disciples heard about it, they came and took his body and laid it in a tomb. The Gospel of the Lord. Praise, Praise to you, Lord, Lord Jesus Christ. Christ. This is a surprising memorial that is the passion of St. John the Baptist. For years back, we don't have that one really, but this time it is already in the face of the gospel, in the face of our liturgy of the hours. The gospel reading is all about the story of how St. John was beheaded. Of course, when you see the passion of St. John, all of his birth, preaching, and death is a witness, a witness. to the suffering of Jesus Christ. Is a witness to the struggle of goodness over light. And so he received it. In the gospel, we have here him beheaded by, of course, executioner, by virtue of Herod. He could not say no. He could not understand what he feels. But then he decided to behead John. Precisely because he has heard all the goodness that John has proclaimed. He is a witness to the story of St. John. He is glamorous to what St. John would proclaim. But at the end, he felt deprived. He felt it that way to behead him just because of the daughter of Herodias, who is Salome. Herodias had grudged a, a, grudge, a very, very sentimental thing to St. John by proclaiming that it's not right for Herod to take his brother's wife. And indeed, it is as such. The sacrament of marriage of marriage, the sacrament of marriage that he was proclaiming is in view of that. So precisely, you cannot take the wife of Herod, your brother, because she is your sister-in-law. 
But the thing is, Herod had taken her and they became his wife. But at the end, again, the crucifixion, the beheading of St. John. The beheading is a testimony of St. John's death. Death of a final victory. Death that is sorrowful. Death that is sorrowful. But at the end, it gave him joy. It gave him the challenge. It gave him the key. It gave him everything that he has. That's why uh, this uh, June 24, we have his birth. Then we have his the, the, uh, passion today. Just a few months after, I mean, June, July, August, to symbolize the happiness of the church, to symbolize the happiness of the kingdom, to symbolize even the happiness of Christ. He is a witness to the resurrection of the Lord by virtue of his passion, death, and suffering too, by virtue of his birth and preaching and death. His preaching is an indication of his common sense. He asked to us to, to uh, take away our sins. He asked us to lament our sins. He asked us for everything that is good. Truly as such, the proclamation of St. John that gave birth and that at their time to give way to the death and resurrection of the Lord. His atmosphere, his presence, his own dedication, practically as the last apostle, I mean a prophet of the Old Testament and the new prophet of the, of the New Testament had all indications of a certain glory of him that is reserved for him. Saint John was the child, a man who is born very, very miraculously, who was born out of time, but he was given the appointed time. And the appointed time is to bear witness to the Lord Jesus. He is the Lamb of God who takes away the sins of the world. That is his witnessing. That is his own proclamation of St. John that lead him even to his death. Of course, he was in prison and his death was followed afterwards. So in the passion of St. John, we can only see all those elements that connects to Jesus. We can say that he prepared the birth, the proclamation, the death, and the resurrection of Jesus Christ. All the more in the elements of the gospel, he is as such. He is a wonderful figure, a wonderful man, a wonderful prophet, but he has to give testimony by virtue of his suffering. He died for a cause. He died with a reason. He died because of his faith in Jesus Christ, our Lord. Amen. Amen. Lord Jesus Christ. Lord, Lord Jesus, Jesus Christ. Christ. Thank you for giving us Saint John. Thank, Thank you for giving us Saint John. Saint John. That is birth, preaching, and death. That is birth, birth, preaching, and death. We're all testimonies to Jesus Christ. We're all, all testimonies, testimonies of Jesus Christ. Jesus Christ. And also to us. A life that is faithful. A life that is faithful. A life that is genuine. A life that is genuine. A life that would like to follow as well. A life that would like to follow as well. Give us the grace, O Lord. Give us the grace, O Lord. To become Saint John. Because in all aspects of our life, in all, all aspects of our life, life, that you may come, O Lord, that, that you may you come, 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 O Lord. Lord. Amen. 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 Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now at the hour of our death. Amen. Angel of God, 
The Lord be with you. And we the Almighty God bless us all, the Father and the Son and the Holy Spirit. Amen. 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 Good morning and good evening. Good evening. Good evening. Good evening. Father, thank, thank you very much. Thank you. Um, thank you. We could be St. John. <laughs> <laughs> The Boys in the Wilderness. Yes. Special ang ano niya eh. Special ang mention. Ang, ang, ang mission. The, the mission of St. John is very special. And then, um, they were cousins, Father, no? Sila yes, ni Jesus. Mm -hmm. So, very special. They, yeah, he paved the way. Um, They know each other. They knew each other's Maskina, maskina sa womb pa lang sila ng mothers nila. Yes, from the womb. Yeah, from the womb sila. What a privilege. There is the beautiful tradition in the chapel of St. John where the soldiers came in to look for the child Jesus, no? But of course, St. John was, was uh, a child still. And he was... He was placed in that stone, and the stone had covered him. <laughs> I don't know if it is true, but uh, or according to the legend, the stone covered him, and he was inside that stone. Oh. 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 Mm -hmm. Yeah, kasi Very si nice. Jesus is uh, ano no? Si Jesus kasi they 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 ano they went to Egypt no to avoid. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Oo, mm -hmm. and then si Saint John pala is naiwan. Na ah, okay. So the parents kept him in that stone. <laughs> nice, ah. nice miracle. Very nice, no. Nakita mo yung Tita Bell? Hindi, I was I was trying to remember Father what you're saying now. Mm -hmm. I cannot remember that part. The, Maybe the, uh, I'm not listening. <laughs> 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 they kept that stone. It is displayed there. Oh. And it said that, Ay, that, 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 ang stone mismo ang nandoon, gina-display. Mm -hmm. mm -hmm. uh, wow. Hopefully, you will see that one. <laughs> yeah, no? Oh. Mm -hmm. The difference between Jesus and St. John is just six months, right? Months lang, months. Yeah. Hmm. Because when Elizabeth was on her sixth month, Mama yes. Mary was on her third month. Yeah. So she uh -huh. was uh -huh. Three uh -huh. months, uh -huh. practically. Oh, no? so the same age no so maybe maybe father they were they were i don't know they played together no during their childhood friend it could it could As be <laughs> kasi magkasin sila and then kaedad lang no? it could be mm -hmm. wow <laughs> being a privilege no so you have it all the same chan how how come father um anong tawag dito um he was the last apostle of the old testament and then uh, and the first apostle of the new testament parang he crossed the ano <laughs> he was able to i mean he survived time practically on the, that uh, area were in his school, the last apostle of the Old Testament, because mm -hmm. it's already the time. And for the first, for the uh, coming year of the new year, 
which is 0 BC after Christ. So before Christ and after Christ. So he is the first apostle of the Old Testament, of the New Testament. Okay, yeah, yeah. Yeah. Tapos ito ang um, ang commemoration of the sufferings of John the Baptist o um, something new, no? Something new. Kasi ang ginaano natin sa John is June 24, 24 ba yun o 25? Yeah, 24, 24 the birth. 24. The birth. Oh, the, the birth. birth that's the birth then of Then right John. after so August it's the passion. So it's all complete. <laughs> he should not die that uh, time, Pasana. No, he, he was still young. He was not that old. No, that time he was imprisoned. He is already on the age, the man, practically. Anong age, Sitabel? But he died earlier. Yes. Parang 30 ata. Siguro mga ganyan. Oh no. 30, 30, 31. Nung inasawa ni Herod, si Herodias' father, was it three years before Christ died? Hmm. Yeah, practically. Yung during si yung anak, yes, yes. Niya yung head. During that time. Mm -hmm. mm. 31, 32, 32. Oh. Mm. Very young. Pa, Pariho lang sila ni Jesus na namatay na young pa. Young pa sana. And then that Herodias, as si Salome pala is hindi naman anak ng, ng king, no? Hindi, kay ano siya? Kay Herodias. Herodias, the mother of the uh, person niya. Salome ba yung pangalan ng babae na naging ng head ni yes, John? Yes, yes. 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 Apa, Anak apa. siya ni Philip. Ay, ano ba yun? Yung kapatid ni Herod? Ang kapatid. Aha, aha. Oh. Uh. So, kinuha lang ng... Kapatid, no? Walang ginawa yung... Walang nagawa yung si Philip na yan, no? So what yung happened to Philip? Asawa. Oo. What happened to Philip? Pinatay? Philip died. Philip died, man. That's it why died. the widow si Herodias. Ah. ah. Akala ko alive pa, ay buhay pa si Philip tapos kinuha niya. Kinuha, inagaw oh, niya. Oo, oh, kasi ano, noong sinabi ni asawa. St. John na adulterous ba? So, That's my question, Father. Bakit adulterous? Oh, no? oh. We do naman si, ano, si Herodias. Kaya, oh, kaya nga ang ano ko is uh, sabi ko before buhay pa siguro si Phil, si Philip. May may relation na si ano sa kay Herodias. Wala. <laughs> After the death na. After the death. Gumag Tapos gumagawa. Nag-imo-imo tayo istorya. <laughs> Statement to Father. Herod, Herod had married her. Talagang gimarry siya ni Herod. Bakit madol siya yan, Father? Pero a sister-in-law, a sister-in-law, it should be a part of the whole family life. By marriage. Yes. A sister. Kaya, walang expiration. Realize that Jesus at that time he was equating all the marriages to the to the perspective. He was putting all marriages in perspective. Kala ko pwede ma-marry ang ang sister-in-law. Sister-in-law. Kasi hindi naman sila blood relation. Pero sister-in-law mo man. Hindi ba pwede ka? Dapat nag-expire na ang relasyon, no? Kasi namatay na si Philip. Pero dapat with permission, yun. Siguro, they just live together, siguro, na before nakasal, siguro. Before nakasal. Married man. Married man, ah. 
Adulterous. So, uh, change na siguro, Father, ano? Kasi sa Africa, it's really mm-hmm. expected na kung mamatay yung yung isang yeah. lalaki, yung asawa niya, ipang asawa ng one of the brothers. Brother. Yes. May mga ganon. Depende sa situation. Depende sa place. Uh, depende sa tradition. Yes. May mga ganon. Uh, it's basically for economic reasons. Kasi yung widows, mm-hmm. uh, the children, um, don't have any means of surviving. Usually kasi yung lalaki ang nag, ano, nag-earn ng income. So yes. what happens is the brother uh, marries the widow. Para siya na rin ang maging responsible for the you know? Exactly. Exactly. For the children and the widow. Yes. But ito, yung tradition na ito, it's in the context of making the whole family life. Yes. So, hindi kaya sinabi ni Saint Denise. Considered. considered na siya a sister-in-law. So you don't have to marry. Pero other places, other nations have different interpretations of this. And here, Rod, baka may asawa pa siya. <laughs> Iba. Oh, yun, yun, yun ang next question ko sana. Baka may asawa pa si Herod. Yes. He has, he has his own. Oo. As old as he is na, sigurado may asawa na yan. Oh, playboy yun eh. Oh. <laughs> so, in this case, Father, pride naman yung na ang nag-ano, no? Pride ni Herod. Kasi ayaw niyang mapahiya siya doon sa mga mga yes. nakaka- <clears throat> mga bisita mga, mga bisita, bisita who heard pride him. and human respect yeah. <clears throat> pride and human respect he could have uh, alluded to Saint John as the divine I mean it could, he could be a messenger of the divine but he did not respect it he yeah. simply followed the human perspective Mm-hmm. Yes. Yeah. Was he a good ruler, Father? Si si Hero. Yeah. Well, good naman. Uh-oh. Yeah, yeah. Hmm. Pero di ba siya ang nagano, Father? Na na all firstborn will be. Yeah. Well, the kasama sa ruler. <clears throat> Opo, pero kasama sa ruler, consider naman siya good. Pero he has all other inkling. Hmm. Iisip niya kasi meron siyang privileyo. Eh. Kaya Privilege. tuloy, Father, na beheaded si St. John. May tanong kami noon, Father. Uh, may tanong ako noon. Ano nga yun to? Di ba? No? Di ba, di ba, Tita MJ, may tanong tayo na sino yung namatay na ay, yung dinip sa hot oil ba, Father? Hindi namin ma-recall. Sino kaya? Itanong natin kay Father, sabi. <laughs> sino yung saint na na idip sa hot oil, Father? Saint Lawrence. Saint Lawrence. Saint Lawrence. Saint Lawrence. Hello, Saint Lawrence. Oh, not so sure, ah, not. Yung palang Mayroon. inaasal. Mayroon tayo niyan eh. Si Saint Lawrence, hindi, hindi yan gindip sa hot oil si Saint Lawrence. Agit din, ano siya? Yung grill. Yung sukba. Oh, sinukba siya. Siya ang gilitsyo na sabi pa niya, you turn me on the other turn side. Turn me to the, yeah, to the other side. Hmm. At tumatawa pa siya. Hmm. Oh, no. I'm not so sure kung sino sa deep oil. Meron, Father, we, we took him up one of our... We mentioned him. Yung na-deep mm-hmm. siya ng hot oil. Boiling oil. Sana pala, nagpapagod sa ako, Dai, para hindi na magtanong. 
Ano? Ano na ba? Sana sana na ba? Notes mano pa rin. Assignment, assignment, assignment. Uy, part ng father. assignment natin 'yan, ha. Father, paano 'yun? Wala ba tayong mass for August? Kasi maraming nangyayari sa August yung 'di ba may may mga nag-celebrate ng mga ano yung sabi ni Tita MJ? Maraming may uh, uh, maraming maraming activities sa so special uh, events. Mm. Uh, kasal ni Tito June. Tapos, sa 31. Sa 31 tayo magmas. Kaya? Tapos, tapos si Tita Grace is aalis na. 31. Oh, ta- Magpapa ano? 31 31 Thursday Just me yo Thursday Thursday na ba ako maka-attend 6:30 ako na mag-report Wednesday Wednesday So this coming Bukas Wednesday So tomorrow na yun Ay bukas tomorrow Bukas na pala Father Hindi hindi September na lang natin kasi nakamisa na tayo, di ba, August na yun, nagmisa tayo sa sila. Okay, September na lang. O, sige. Oo, um, September na lang. September. Para naman makapreparar. Para naman makapreparar tayo. September. Ano yung Monday? Maganda kasi September or or Sunday, di ba? Oo, tapos magdahi. Ako niyan, uh, September. Magdahi. Oo, magdahi. Ado na lang natin ni, ano, imasa, ano, sa Cebu. Ay, yes. Oo. Oo. Ay, niya. Oo. Sige. <coughs> Alam, Father, grimace. ha? Enero, Father. January din. <laughs> Or yeah, March. Yeah. yeah. February, February. Of February? So, September, we, we start the talking. Okay. Hmm. <coughs> Yay. Hey. So, okay na. Mahirap-hirapan si Saint John. <laughs> He is a strict tradition. He is a talagang traditional way. He has a different way of talking. But, you know, during his time, he goes to Palestine or Jerusalem. Talagang mahirap, mahirap walking, talagang doing things alone with the others, with his disciples. It's quite a difficult parlance. And he lives in uh, he lives in uh, in the wilderness, Father, no? In the desert. Mm. Yeah. desert. The desert. Mm. Eating low mm. cost. Yes. Mm. Yeah. <laughs> We pray for one another. <laughs> Pagkain na ng insect. Did you? Okay na. <laughs> the harder Saint John the Baptist, so the the better way we follow the Lord. Tapos the Lord be with you. Na. And with your spirit. spirit. Almighty God bless you, the Father, Son, and Holy Spirit. Amen. Amen. Praise God. Mamamatay na kasi ang ano eh. Thank you. Mamamatay na aking ano. Good night, Father. Good night, For today's gospel, number one, the beheading of John the Baptist is the culmination of many, many other compromised decisions and actions that finally led to this tragic decision that Herod had to make. Number two, Herod knew at heart that John was preaching the truth about his life of immorality. Similarly, the more we try to suppress our conscience and rationalize our actions, the more we we will end up compromising the gospel values in life. Number three, ponder on the times when you have to compromise and rationalize your decisions and actions. Ask the Holy Spirit to lead and guide you more firmly in your daily decisions so that you can purify your motives. Amen.
Amen. Amen. Beautiful, no. Thank you very much, Tifalin. So as I said before, no, my uh we we are celebrating Saint John the Baptist, no, uh, his birthday is on June 24. And then um itong commem uh, commemoration of the sufferings of Saint John is bago ito. Bago. Kasi may maraming ano, maraming lessons. Maraming lessons talaga sa today's gospel. So Thank you very much. Amen. Amen. Ah, uh, Miga Belen. Yes, okay. Uh, uh. Uh, Lord, we give you our whole mind, heart, soul, and strength. Help us to love you above all things and in all things. And from that love, help us to love those whom you have put in our lives. Jesus, we trust in you. Amen. 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 And all together, please, glory be to the glory Father, to the Father, to the Son, and to the, Son, and the Holy Spirit. Spirit. As it As was in the beginning, the beginning is now, now and ever, and ever shall be without, without, end. without, end. without, end. without end. end. Amen. In the name of the, the name Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Spirit. Amen. 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 Thank you all. Thank you very much. Good night. 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 Good